Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics channel with really interesting, quick and relaxing questions. And in this video we're going to solve this really interesting question, we have 7 plus 7 divided by 7 and uh, in parentheses we have 7 plus 7, so it's like a challenge, we have all the time we have the 7 and we have addition, division, multiplication, so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about this mass operation right here, so everyone can handle this question, it looks like that, but this is like very tricky question and right now I want to suggest you that right here we have a lot of options, so four options, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is a correct answer? It will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. I hope you will solve this correctly, okay? Right now let's try to solve it, so right here we have our question, so we have 7 plus 7 divided by 7 and in parentheses we have 7 plus 7. Seven. So here is our question. And one part of students sort of like that. One part of students don't know about uh, order of operation. They say, okay, let's go from, from left to right, for example. So they start from addition right here, then they divide this one, then they go with multiplication, then parentheses. Okay, one part of students sort of like that. They don't know about order of operation. Another part of students think, okay, maybe addition is incorrect. Let's try it from this division. So they go from this division, then, for example, multiplication, then, for example, addition, then parentheses, another part of students think, okay, maybe start from parentheses, then from left to right, addition, division, multiplication, so as you can see, a lot of combinations right here, so we have four combinations, we have three, and we can get any more, more combination right here, so uh, in math we need to know what is one and only one correct answer, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right, so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay, and only one correct order. Of course, right here we have three orders, maybe we, have, we can get more order of operation. We need to know what is one and only one correct order of operation. And for this question we need to know about <coughs> For example, let's look at this PMDMC. I have this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries uh, solve this question according to PMDMC. For example, you can easily check this in your like calculator, scientific or graphing calculator, which works according to PMDMC, because a lot of students work according to PMDMC, but I want to say I respect every order of operation, for example, board mass, and I don't want to say that this is like 100% correct solution and every every another is absolutely incorrect. Yeah, PMDMC PMDMC is one order of operation and I will solve it according to PMDMC and uh, we will check our answers, okay? Maybe you solve it according to BODMAS, I respect it, it's up to you, it's your order of operation, for example, you learned this at school and you need to know about this, so this is up to you. I will solve it according to PMDMC, let's check this, <clears throat> okay? So we have 7 plus 7, we have divided by 7 and in parentheses 7 plus 7. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so we have uh, six steps right here and let's look at this. Right here we have first step parentheses because the first letter is P and we have these parentheses. Let's look at it. Uh, let's look at it uh, from left to right, maybe we have these parentheses, yeah, we have these parentheses on the right hand side, right here we have this first step. So we need to start from these parentheses because this is the first step according to PMDMC. <laughs> No addition, no division, no multiplication, but parentheses. This is really great. Okay, so let's start from this. So we have 7 <coughs> plus 7 divided by 7 and in parentheses we have times 7 plus 7 equal to equal to 14. Okay, so right now we have this expression. We don't have any parentheses, which is, which is really great. Okay, what about... <coughs> What about exponents? Because this is our next step right here. Let's look at it. Squares, cubes, I don't see any of those. We don't have any powers right here. We have like a regular expression without any powers. Okay, so we, we need to skip this part. We don't have any exponent part. So we, skip, we already skipped this part. This exponent, for example, this question will be like more complicated. We will have like, for example, 7 to 10th power. We need to raise these before it goes to the next step. Okay, but we don't have it and it's, it's really great. Okay, the next step, multiplication. But According to PMDMC, a correct order is multiplication and division, because right here, this is one common group and we need to look at it in a perspective of a group. So multiplication and division, this is one, uh, one group and we need to scan where do we have this multiplication and division sign. We can easily start from multiplication, this is like another order of operation, but according to PMDMC, we need to look at it in a perspective of a group. So right here we have addition, we don't need it. Yeah, right here we have division, we need this and we have multiplication. So as right here we have, we have this, we have this part. 
Okay, so this is our next step. We have multiplication and division part. But here's our main question. What we need to start with from division, then multiplication or multiplication, then division, because a lot of countries, a lot of discussion about it all over the world. People discuss about this order of operation. One part of student divide at first, another part of student multiply at first. It is up to you. But as I told before, right here, according to PNMC, we need to look at it. What is the first sign from left to right? Okay, so the first sign from left to right is this division. Yeah, we have right here 70 divided by 7, which is the first sign from left to right. Another sign uh, from right to left is, is the first uh, right here. We have multiplication. OK, so the first sign division, then multiplication. And we need to divide it first. So we have 7 plus we have 7 plus. Then we have 7 divided by 7 equal to 1 and times times 14. OK, times 14, which is really great for us because this is like very easy expression right now. We need to multiply it first before addition, as, I, as you can see right here on this paper. So we don't have subtraction, but we have addition. So addition and subtraction is after multiplication and division. Okay, so we multiply all, all the thing, we divide all the thing, and then we add as a final result. We need to add it. So right here we have 1 times 14 equal to 14. So we have 7 plus 14 equal to Right here we have equal to 21. 21 is a correct answer. This is option. Option D, we have this answer. This is my solution to this problem. This is according to PMDMC. As I told before, I respect every order of operation. For example, you prefer board mass, you will have another option, another answer. This is up to you. I really hope you understand this explanation and I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.